you think I'm only complaining about white people. I'm not. Black people, you're next. They're going to replace you. Don't you notice that? Don't you notice that in like 10 years, your vote's literally going to mean nothing. Your, your vote's going to literally mean nothing. The Democratic Party's never going to have to come after your vote. Welcome back, everybody. Um, last few days, there's been reports out of Google's Gemini Chat AI program. It's a bot. Uh, basically, you put a prompt in, um, and it spits out images generated by that said prompt. So, for example, if you said white scientist, uh, you would expect them to generate an image of a scientist who is white. But it does come back with a... a, a counter prompt saying they do not generate images based on race now that would be fair enough if you didn't turn around and then say give me a picture of a black scientist and it generates as many as you would like and that's not even the the, the biggest issue the biggest issue is that um anything you know if you said give me a picture of vikings it will sh automatically start showing you pictures of black vikings historically white individuals it's as if the ai program is acting as if white people do not exist as if we are a fairy tale or hobbits of the lord of the rings as if the hypocrisy isn't strong enough of saying you know you shouldn't think that you're trying to be replaced while your technology and your ai program is literally erasing white people I have this New York Post article. We're going to read along. And as we're reading along, I'm going to show you images that the community has generated of these said prompts and AI generated photographs. So we're going to get into this article. Before we get into the video, I need to tell you a secret. I need you to hit the like and the subscribe button. I need to fight against the YouTube algorithm because I'm on the road to 1000. I'm going to need all the help I can get. Make sure you hit those buttons. Let's get into it. Google pauses absurdly woke Gemini AI chatbot's image tool after backlash over historically inaccurate picture. That's an understatement. Google said Thursday it would pause its Gemini chatbot's image generation tool after it was widely planned for creating diverse images that were not historically or factually accurate. You, you should have let people know that it was not factually accurate. Such as Black Vikings, female popes, and Native Americans among the Founding Fathers. Social media users had blasted Gemini as absurdly woke and unusable. After requests to generate representative images for subjects resulted in bizarrely revisionist pictures. We're already working to address recent issues with Gemini's image generation feature, Google said, in a statement posted on X. While we do this, we're going to pause the image generation people of people and we'll re-release an improvised version soon. Why'd you release this version in the first place? Is beyond me. Uh, the article continues. Examples of an AI image of a black man who appeared to represent George Washington and complete with the white powdered wig and Continental Army uniform and a Southeast Asian woman dressed in a popple attire even though all 266 popes throughout history have been white men. Now, I understand that a bunch of woke folks are going to say, um, it's good that we're... we're it's good that we're representing the Pope as someone other than a white man, but doesn't that mean you you would be whitewashing history? Because history is that all Popes were white. Are all future Popes going to be white? Who knows? But all past Popes were. And the article continues, Since Google has not published the parameters that govern the Gemini chatbot's behavior, it is difficult to get a clear explanation on why of why the software was inventing diverse versions of historical figures and events. I'm going to tell you why. It's because the woke programmers of this program programmed said chatbot to do so. They they overrepresented other people that aren't white. They probably spoke to the program don't represent white people as much or at all. So the, the AI just said, okay, I I will never show you an image of a white person ever with any, you know, individual ask. 
And we'll finish up with the article. William A. Jacobson, a Cornell University law professor and founder of the Equal Protection Project, a watchdog group, told the Post, In the name of anti-bias, actual bias is being built into the systems, obviously. This is a concern, not just for search results, but real-world applications where bias-free algorithm testing actually is building bias into the system by targeting end results that amount to quotas. That's the problem. Even with AI, you're going to have bias because, for one, the AI is built by man. Two, you want the AI to be as human as you could possibly be. And as much as people try to say they're not biased, there's bias built into every human nature, all human nature. But this just shows you that the bias of the largest search engine and one of the largest companies in the world already have it in the front of their minds not to represent white people now i'm not saying you white people should be the only thing representative but when you give a prompt of hey can i get a white scientist have it generate a white scientist don't don't then turn around in hypocrisy and say oh no no my system's fine it just needs a little working because you told that system not to give a white scientist you purposely said hey don't let that person get an image generated of a white scientist but it's okay to get a black scientist it's starting to become self-evident we even allow in the real world not just in technology or replacement it, it feels like that right now with our border if you think about it all over the world right now especially in western countries there's this gigantic migration the largest in history happening and what's happening is people are pushing their ideologies and their laws upon us and if you don't believe us believe me i'm going to show you a few clips on what we're facing what we're going to be facing in the near future and force the muslims to take up their british values now now we don't like your culture we don't like your your gambling and your homosexuality and your promiscuity and your man-made laws we don't like that we i think what we've got is better we'll keep we'll keep to that no thanks we believe that Islam is the best way of life and the Islamic way of life is the best. The Sharia is the best law and we believe sovereignty is only for Allah and this is why we stick firm to it. The government by people, the government by people, is that the legislators are human beings, not the creator of human beings. That is democracy. So if you mean by democracy that you come up with your own law and then you punish people according to this own law, if you call this democracy, then Islam outright rejects that. Because this kind of democracy entails injustice to human beings. You don't know what is suitable for them, Allah knows. Allah knows. So in, if you go going to contradict and oppose the revelation of Allah, then we say no, 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 no democracy. These individuals are, are the ones that want to come into our country, that are coming into our country. Now you're going to say this isn't representative of everybody. But guess what? This just shows you that if one group of individuals that we're just allowing to come into our country unchecked has their own ideology and what they think, don't you believe that every group has their own bias and what they think? It just really kind of maps on to everything that that if one group believes this, another group is going to believe what they believe. Well, guess what? They're going to believe something different than what Americans believe. To be honest with you, you think I'm only complaining about white people. I'm not. Black people, you're next. They're going to replace you. Don't you notice that? Don't you notice that in like 10 years, your vote's literally going to mean nothing. Your, your vote's going to literally mean nothing. The Democratic Party's never going to have to come after your vote. So whatever you want, whatever you need, whatever needs in your community there is, guess what? They're never going to be answered. Ever. Because they don't need to. There's no reason to. They're bringing in millions upon millions upon millions of people who will vote for them. And they have loyalty to them. I just did a story yesterday about Eric Adams handing out $10,000 per illegal immigrant. Illegal immigrant. Criminals. That's your money. That's my money. That's our money as a nation. Going to them. I mean, Christ sakes. God damn it. You can't make this shit up. It, it, it is the, the absurd that we allow it as Americans. Beyond me and, and anybody else's recognition on why we allow it. And finally, I'm going to check out one more clip. It's out of Australia. It just shows you, you know, 
the efforts of governments, just Western governments. This is Australia, but let's be honest, they're not that far different from us. They have their different ways, different cultures, but they're considered what you would consider a Western country, right? Well, guess what? They have their own issues going on right now. While the visitors get their first taste of Islamic prayers, it's come to Ahmed's attention that Isaac isn't dressed properly for the occasion. Pull your socks up a bit more. In prayer, he had his socks under his knees and he was wearing shorts, so his knees were showing. And in Islam, you need to have your, from your belly button to your knees covered to be praying, and his knees were showing. So I asked him if he can pull his socks up to cover it up. Like, quietly, all of you stand up. Sometimes in trying to educate others in our values, we may come across as rude or abrupt. And that is a concern I have with some of our students. And that is something which they have to learn how not to do. I have never prayed before. I've never even thought about it. Um, but I've meditated before. And um, it was really nice just sort of being in the room with them and having that unity of everyone doing something together at the same time and doing the same thing. And it sort of it felt really together. So as you can see, the nonsense that they're, they're, they're giving to their children in Australia right this minute. Because I want to point out a fallacy. For one, then you see that the, the, the females were praying with the males. Well, guess what? Is an Islamic religion, they don't do that. Two, could you ever imagine having Islamic children uh, or, or children of Islam who are or not Christian going to a church to pray with Christians? No, absolutely not. They would never allow that. That, that, would, that would be blasphemous from their perspective. This should be blasphemous from our perspective. As a Christian, I sure in the hell would never, I mean, I would never allow my children to do that. That is ridiculous. If the parents agreed to it, sure, they're, they're idiots, but okay, they agreed to it. But if this was like almost like a uh, field trip that, you know, wasn't explained, hey, we're going to have your kid praying in a mosque, I, I believe that the school board should be held accountable for that. But this just this is just a few examples of, you know, and it's, I want to be clear, it's not the replacement theory that you're thinking about as if, like, they just want to get rid of a race. No. It's all about power. They, they, they especially the liberals, the Democratic Party, especially, are pushing this. They don't care technically about the race. They want the power. They want the votes. That's all they want. They want to use you, use me, and use everybody else that they possibly can to gain more and more power. They're finding out that the black people are coming around in the black community that they're nonsense. A bunch of the things that they're saying are nonsensical. It doesn't make any sense. And they're losing the vote rapidly. Hopefully. And what's going to happen is they need to replace you too, black folks. You're going to be gone just as fast as white people are. Just as other Americans. Because we are in this together, whether you like to admit it or not. So hopefully more and more people come around to this and they realize that more and more examples of this is happening. And I know would think I know a lot of people are going to think it's funny that uh, you know white people are not represented in Google uh, AI generation of images, but don't you realize that that's just the tip of the iceberg? That's going to be indicative because if if you know the so-called people of power, white people, can be you know forgotten and washed away as quickly as possible as this is, what do you think they're going to do to you? We're supposedly the majority of the nation, and, and we can be forgotten by the largest companies in the world at a drop of a hat. All, everybody is defenseless against this. Everybody is, is a victim, or, or at least can be a victim. So hopefully people come around. Hopefully people, uh, I have lots of hope. I, I pray to God every day that we, we, we as Americans start working together. Uh, before our nation gets taken apart, starts getting split up. Um, honestly, in my opinion, I think we're closer to states succeeding the union since you know, since again, since the Civil War. I I feel I feel that there's going to be a push for that sooner rather than later because we're finding this this split in ideology 
but everybody keeps trying to make it about something it's not. It, it's it's legitimately should be about the love of its country and its security and its own borders and home. This is your home, regardless of what your skin color is. Uh, if you're an American, this is your home. And hopefully we protect it. Um, hopefully we don't turn out like Australia or even Britain because they're having, they're on fire right now, including a lot of other places in, in Europe. So um, if you enjoyed this, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.